Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. This is something we do each and every week. I'm headed to the grocery store. I'll show you my haul when I get back, a meal plan, and got a different question of the day. This one's not food related, but it's something I'm curious about, so stick around for that at the end. I got back from grocery shopping. I got a wild hair. Ended up going to Walmart first and then Kroger since I had some extra time and I wanted to check for a couple things that were had Ibotta rebates on them. I'm gonna try this Canada Dry Ginger Ale with Lemonade that had an Ibotta rebate. And as always, I'll try to put the prices below. Even though they're not all that good for me with the aspartame or sucralose in them, I picked up a couple more of these Clear American uh, flavored waters. I got a Coke Zero No Sugar for Tim to try some hot dog buns and some Hormel chili for chili dogs, some coffee granules for a cookie recipe that I'm gonna experiment with. I still got a little cocoa mix left, so I needed some more marshmallows. And I was very happy to find some Harvest Land, no antibiotic ever, chicken thighs fillet, chicken thigh fillets marked down. I will portion those out, probably four per bag, and put them in my freezer. I found those at Walmart. Everything else came from Kroger. The milk is on sale this week at my Kroger, three half gallons for $5. We also needed some ibuprofen and acetaminophen. I got a couple things of cheese because we are part mouse. My orange juice that I get every week. We haven't had Taco Tuesday, but Tim is running a little low and the next time we have it on the menu, he needed some sliced jalapenos and some taco sauce. I got him some jalapeno chips and a Coke back there. These um, Kroger brand buttermilk feels, Taylor, Tay, Elmore, if you're watching, these were marked down clearance at my Kroger, which usually means that they're not gonna carry them anymore. So I got this Russian one for, I actually have a recipe that I was gonna make sometime soon that calls for Catalina dressing. I'm hoping this is close enough, I may substitute it. They were marked down to $1.19, probably not gonna carry them anymore. I did get a fair amount of produce and a few clearance and free items. The cantaloupes are on sale this week at my Kroger for 99 cents. The onions are on sale. I also got a red onion and a tomato for some salads. I got the green onions and the mushrooms for shrimp and grits. The Honeycrisp apples are on sale this week. Some lettuce for salads. I went ahead and used my two free coupons that Kroger mailed me. My free things were a loaf of bread and a package of Kettle Brand potato chips. And in the Markdown refrigerated bin, I found some yogurt. Most of them were 49 cents, except for the little Kroger brand that was 19. And I found a small thing of Smart Balance olive oil butter spread for $1.49. So that's a Kroger and a Walmart haul. I went on Wednesday to Kroger and Walmart, and then for some reason I felt the urge to go back again to get some of the four day sales. So I got a couple things marked down and the four day sale included these Kroger grilled or crispy chicken breast strips. They also had popcorn chicken and chicken wings. This whole bag was $2.99 and they were no antibiotics ever. They had Stacy's pita chips that they were already out of at my store and small containers of Sabra, Sabra hummus, different flavors for $1.49. I got a bag of the Simple Truth organic shelled pistachios for $2.99 and then I roamed the clearance bins again found some bacon marked down and a big old bag of donuts for a dollar so that is my four day sale from Kroger and now I've got a menu for you some ideas for my menu next week on Sunday we're probably going to have breakfast food Monday I'm going to try a new recipe in the instant pot for a jambalaya I imagine that's going to make a lot of food if it works out and it's not a Pinterest fail we're probably gonna have a lot of it left, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot of other cooking. Tuesday, I'm gonna make a slow cooker crock pot meal that I've not made in over a year. I actually filmed this for our first collaboration that we ever did on the channel. It's a Thai style or inspired chicken. It is in no way an authentic Thai meal, but it's really easy. It uses pantry ingredients, chicken, some seasonings, peanut butter and salsa and some other things. It's kind of Asian enough for me that I will probably serve it over some noodles with some egg rolls and vegetables. I'm gonna assume that we'll have enough leftover on Monday and Tuesday that we won't need a lot for Wednesday and Thursday, so we might do tomato soup and grilled cheese and leftovers. 
since we are still in Lent on Friday, I will do some shrimp tostadas and some rice and beans, probably some guacamole or salsa and chips. Saturday will hopefully be pizza and a movie night since we still have a whole lot of Little Caesars pizza kits in our freezer. So that's a couple ideas for our menu next week and we've got a question for you next. This week's question is not food related. It's actually about um, houseplants. Do you have any living houseplants? I have fake and I'm gonna show you, I've got one uh, that's barely clinging to life that we received from a neighbor. It was very sweet. Unfortunately, I tend to kill house plants and this one is not doing well. So that's our question this week. Leave a comment with your answer below. As always, thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Let's cook y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Have a wonderful and truly blessed day y'all. We'll see you in the next video.